All right, we're here with Vashiel Fernandez. Vashiel, first, congratulations on getting back to the NCAA tournament. What are some thoughts going thank through your you. head right now? Thank you, thank you. Um, it's just a phenomenal feeling to be able to get to the, go to NCAA um, tournament twice um, in my four-year career. I'm just thankful to God for it. Okay, so you drew Maryland, and you're going to be playing in Columbus on Friday. How do, how do you feel about that, playing so close to home, and actually all the Indiana teams are in that region? Um, I We're really blessed, and we're thankful for that opportunity. We get to have a lot of fans come out and watch us play, and so I think that's pretty good for us. Good last question. Now, you've experienced the tournament once before, two yeah. years ago with the other team. Now you're one of the one of the seniors. What do you tell the younger uh, players on the team what it's like to play an NCAA tournament? How do they prepare? Um, I just tell them, hey, it's a phenomenal opportunity. We get to go out there and, and showcase our, our, ourselves and our university at a highest level, for at a collegiate level. And so I just tell them, I mean, it's all good that we can celebrate right now for a little bit, but then we got to get focused to try and go out there and get a win when, when the ball goes up. You guys drew Maryland in the Columbus, and on Friday you'll be playing them. So what are your thoughts on that? Do you like the seating? Do you like the matchup? Do you like playing close to home? How's that feel for you? I think we definitely got helped out a lot on the location. I think being in Columbus is going to really help our fan base and you know help some of the parents of some of our players that want to come you know, watch the game. And uh, as far as our seed and our matchup goes, I'm really happy with our matchup. Um, I think that we're going to be able to you know, play well against uh, a team like Maryland. We're going to you know, hopefully rise to the occasion. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a great team. They're from the Big Ten. They're from a great conference where they finished in the top three, I believe. So they're going to be tough. They're going to be ready to play. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can make something happen. Now, even though you guys are a pretty young team, you haven't played like a young team all year. You've faced adversity in the Horizon League conference play. Um, so how do you prepare for a big game like this? Obviously, it's different from anything you've ever experienced at Valpo. You know, hopefully we can have our you know our entire team healthy. Uh, I think the last couple of days have really helped with you know progressing guys that are a little bumps and bruises. So, you know, it's just gonna we're gonna have to stick to our game plan. We can't try and you know recreate the wheel and do anything differently. Um, you know, we got to stick to our defensive mindset as far as grinding out games and maybe have to keep a game in the 50s or the, you know even the 40s if we have to. And you know, it's just kind of been the way the season has been going. You know, everybody stepped up differently. Each uh, there's been a player differently step up each game. And, you know, it's going to have to happen. So everybody's going to have to step up for a game against Maryland. Coach Drew, you're going to be playing on Friday uh, in Columbus against Maryland. How do you feel about the draw and playing a Big Ten opponent like Maryland? Really excited to be in Columbus. You know, there's always excitement when your name is called. It's such a blessing to be in the NCAA tournament. And to be able to be at a close destination that our fans can come and it's easy travel for us, you know, we're really, really excited. And you were in the tournament two years ago, so you obviously have a really young team. And like I mentioned to Alec, you, they don't play like a young team. They face a lot of adversity this mm -hmm. year, played in a tough conference like Horizon League. How do you prepare such a young team like that? You only have pretty much Vichio Fernandez, who played regularly uh, the last time that they were there. Mm -hmm. So how do you prepare for that? You know, um, the great thing about this team is, is they have played well beyond their years this year. Um, they're very mature. Um, they've been very focused. And uh, they just had a good um, level mind, you know, going into games and into the season. So um, they've made my job easy in preparation. And hopefully, you know, we can stay focused, you know, with all the distractions that come with the NSA tournament. And we can be at our best when uh, Friday's game comes.